What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another Vito Verse. We are not live. <laughs> this is our pre recorded week. So, thank you for those that checked out our live last week. Uh, we truly appreciate it. Those lives tend to be long, so I we kind of understand those are going to be our like lower videos, you know what I mean? Like, those are not that popular. And plus, on top of that, it doesn't really show the topic, you know what I mean? I try to, you know what I'm saying, tag the topics in there, but it really doesn't show it. But uh, thank you for those that actually tuned in. We actually played a game with one of the topics I'm actually going to discuss here in a minute. But um, definitely, uh, if you're new to this channel, thank you for uh, clicking on this video. Um, we're, we're on our road to 300, and we're doing a, uh, a raffle for a uh, gift card to any streaming service of your choice. So if you're interested in that, only thing you got to do is subscribe, comment, leave a comment. <clears throat> and that's it. That will enter you into our raffle. And uh, please hit the like button to help our channel out boost that algorithm so we can get our videos out to other people that's interested in these topics that want to you know hear our opinions or whatever the situation may be and find us interesting uh that would definitely help out so uh, let's get into today's stuff now i was gonna chop this video up but i'm actually gonna make it one long video just to just to experiment again uh we've been having some algorithm issues so i'm, I'm back experimenting again so uh, bear with me. Of course, we're always growing on this channel. Uh, but let's get into our first topic and um, talk about a video game being made into a movie. Now, uh, on one of our shows, I cannot remember what live it was. Uh, me, uh, my co-host, uh, Sandstorm, and Nodoka Yu, we both, or I say we both, we all three of us, uh, we discussed Borderlands being made into a movie now we have our gripes against video games being made into movies or tv shows because we are video game players and we love the storyline from the video game and we always tell ourselves as we're playing the video games hey i can see this as a movie or a tv show and then when they do that sometimes it's a hit or miss you know they kind of totally go off the topic of what the video game storyline was and they do their own thing in Hollywood the whole you know concept up and it kind of puts a bitter taste in our mouth we're like ah oh, that's not what we talking about that's not it that's not it but anyway so Borderlands was recently made as a live action starring Kevin Hart and some uh Jamie Lee Curtis and some more people I cannot remember their names and I'm not finna look it up right now but anyway they recently did Borderlands, and the review from Rotten Tomatoes is a very shocking one. I don't even want to say very, but it is shocking. But it is a big, fat zero. Like, I have never seen Rotten Tomatoes score something at a zero. I've seen low single digits and all that. I've seen all that. at least had like five or six or eight or you know whatever however they be doing it it'd be like it's a seven you know what i'm saying but a zero i have never ever seen that and that's crazy so that makes me say that uh i think our gripes about a video game being made into a live action is absolutely right so uh we were definitely iffy about it um I will definitely still check it out though. I don't know if it'll come out on Amazon or something like that or, or some other streaming service that I have, but I'm not going to the movies for it, you know, with that low of a score. So uh, that was one of the topics that we discussed, uh, I believe like two weeks, three, maybe three weeks ago, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, they need to get that together. Whoever that production company is, I don't know who that is, Paramount, I don't know who made that get it together anyway next our next topic uh we discussed last week we actually had a game uh last week with this whole thing about robert downing jr being introduced as the new dr doom into our marvel cinematic universe i, I, I don't even know how to even classify it anymore I, I don't know if we're saying the marvel cinematic universe or multiverse because we are in the multiverse saga and all types of stuff has been going down uh shout out to deadpool and wolverine uh that has a a nice review on that uh, i've been hearing nothing but good things uh, of course you know ryan it's ryan 
You know what I'm saying? His sense of humor is, is definitely uh, <laughs> is definitely is definitely crazy. So um, it, and I, and I heard some 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 good cameos came in there too. So uh, shout out to that. But um, recently they did our I, I believe what was it? Uh, uh, San Diego Comic Con. There we go. San Diego Comic Con. And um, Robert Downey Jr. was introduced as that new Doctor Doom, and we know him as Iron Man. So automatically, everybody starts saying, well, how can you make, you know, this makes sense. You know, he played Iron Man. He's our, 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 he's the face of the franchise. He's the reason why we have it. You know what I mean? Um, that had me kind of like thinking the same thing. Like how can, and, and automatically people start going to the comics and how it can, uh, Iron Man and, and, and Doctor Doom uh, collide. Is there a what if you know spinoff? Like, can they? How can they make this work? Some people even got into the multiverse. We did our own theories. We actually made a game out of it. So please check that out on um, our last week's live. Matter of fact, I actually might even make it a uh, uh, individual clip, even though it is kind of old. I'm still make it an individual clip probably sometime this weekend and upload it next week. So stay tuned for that if you want to see that that game that we did. Uh, but definitely the theories have been off the charts. There's some good ones out there. There's some terrible ones. There's some man ones. But uh, the biggest thing that uh, I think a lot of people were concerned about, especially uh, people that were loving the, the quote unquote current vi villain in the MCU, Kang the Conqueror was uh how is people from marvel that have that have had a very dark or you know bad past how can they be redeemed and given a chance but not jonathan major you know what i'm saying he was found not guilty um we're, we're, we're still trying to understand, like, why are you canceling the whole Kane, you know, storyline? Like, that was starting to maybe make a little sense with the uh, the um, season two Loki, but, you know, they totally scrapped it. Now, like I said, Ant-Man wasn't really that, that good, but that season two Loki started making sense and started making Kane more, like, Ooh, snap like yeah yeah I'm, I'm glad he's the villain but of course they're scrapping that bringing in dr doom so we're going to take a look at what jonathan majors actually thinks about that um tmz this one curl is the reason I so my bad so tmz uh they catch everyone doing everything so they ran into jonathan majors or waited on him wherever he was. They spotted him. They, I don't know how they get. They, I, they are the real life Lois Lane. Like that is crazy. How they end up in places that you don't expect them to, and they just cut you off guard. Like, like, dang, bro. Like, jumping out the bushes. Hey, Jonathan, how you doing? Hey. So we're gonna take a look at what Jonathan thinks about Robert Downey Jr. replacing him as the big bad in Avengers Five. So uh, I'm gonna cue this up take a look at that and I'll give you my thoughts now we're not gonna look at all of it because it's TMZ and I don't know how they rock as far as like people reacting to their stuff but we're gonna play a little bit of it hey Jonathan how are you nice <laughs> I mean nice. It, it was announced nice. that Robert Downey Jr. was you know being brought back from Marvel to play Doctor Doom I mean it looks like he's replacing your villain you know Kang I mean, are you hurt with the new direction that, like, Marvel is, like, going in? Yeah, heartbroken. You are? Yeah, how could, come on, come on. Yeah, of course. I love him. I love Kang. I love Kang. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know... Dr. Like, Doom is wicked, though. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is good. It's going to be good. I mean, I mean, both Robert Downey Jr. and Ezra Miller have had, like, a history of trouble with, like, you know the law and getting arrested for felonies i mean you only had a misdemeanor do you feel like it's unfair that like you're not being given the same opportunities as them uh damn uh i think it's i think it's fair that mr downing is being and has been greeted with uh patience and curiosity and love uh 
and that Mr. Miller has gotten the same treatment um, and that they're being allowed to work their art and uh, be creative uh, at that level, you know. Uh, it's not, not, I'm not really, I didn't really, I didn't really get that. So, you know. All right, so there you have it. I'm gonna, if y'all wanna watch the whole thing, it's on TMZ, um, YouTube or their page, however you, however you watch TMZ, uh, it's up there. Uh, but definitely, I, I, I feel that. I feel that um, he, he didn't, or he's not getting, getting that chance that he could right now like they could like you know at least like since especially it's a misdemeanor and he was found not guilty uh it, it it's crazy it's, it's almost the black actor uh like curse like as soon as you mess up you're gone like it's hard to find any type of work uh, we've been hearing some old off the wall stuff like, oh, you know, he's hard to work with and all this other stuff. And I mean, I'm not saying he's not, but, you know, at the same time, I we don't know. So, um, but to see that he's being replaced by Robert, it's mixed emotions. You know what I'm saying? I feel bad for Jonathan. Um, honestly, I, I, I really don't want to get into that whole case. It's a very sensitive topic. Um. I'm one that is against any type of violence towards women as far as men are concerned. Uh, but, you know what I mean? Like, like whatever that whole situation is really, you know what I'm saying? Really, what's really going on with that. Um, you know, I, I just pray the, the best for him. I just really hate that they took Kane away from him and, and really a job. Like, I don't know where we're going to see. I hope he, I hope somebody can pick him up, throw him in a movie so he can bounce back. Uh, some, something iconic, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he got to play like a, a, a something, some some kind of hero somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Don't play a villain, play a hero, you know what I mean? But anyway, let's get into some uh, trailer reactions before I go. Uh, there's not too many, you know what I'm saying, going on this year, uh, this week, so we're going to keep it simple real quick with two of them, one coming from Netflix and the other one I don't know what it's from, but it's one of the popular um trailers on twitter that's trending right now so let's get into this trailer real quick all right hold on, let me cue that up let's get into that and then i'll give you my thoughts at the end i need to report a crime and this was cash yes ma'am okay can you describe this one big guy must weigh 250. we're gonna hold on to this money I didn't get his badge number, but his last name's Marston. You're gonna need to leave. Main suspect number two. Hey, Mike! I'm posting bail. Stay low, all right? You can fight for the money, but that'll take you most of a year and cost you twice what you're owed. And it's legal? Law. May I at least see my cousin? You can fuck right off. I would love to, sir, just as soon as I get my money back. You do not stand in my station in front of my officers and set terms. You need to be very, very careful. Let's not do that. Chief! What are we looking at? Oh. I think he's Marine Corps Martial Arts MCMAP. One mind, any weapon. Whatever you decide to do, you do it damn far from All here. You enter this town again, so go another route. Man, who are you talking to? Chapter. Something's up. Chief is willing to kill to keep us from finding out. You ain't ever gonna be safe. These cops might end up on top, but they don't get any more outs. Suspect is armed. He goes down. He does not get back up. It's gotten out of hand. People getting hurt now. So I was thinking, what if we just walk away? Well, now you're starting to talk. Well, I was like, nah. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. So tell me what you think down in the comment section. Um, man, that looked good. 
I ain't gonna lie, that looked good. Uh, you know, I, I ain't like super excited, but I love action like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially like when they messing with like a, a former Marine or a secret agent and they didn't woke him up from this slumber. You know what I'm saying? Now, now he, you know, breaking out of retirement and whooping tail and all that. I like that. It looked like they uh stole like his brother's bail money or something like that. Man, that, that looks good. That looked good. So, uh, and I think that's the actor from uh, the Malcolm and uh, Martin Luther King uh, biopic they just did on, on Hulu not too long ago. So, uh, shout out to the actor. I don't know his name, but he, he's definitely a good actor. Uh, but on to our next one real quick, our last one. We have the... I always got to, you know what I'm saying, like, like get, the, get these uh, ads out the way first before I pull it up. So bear with me. All right, here we go. All right. So on to our next one. Let's get it. Tell me what you think about this at the end. Well, I'll tell you what I think. And you tell me in the comment section. All right, but let's get it. Welcome to Global Industries Life Simplified. Have you look how real they are? Our brand new series. The most sophisticated AI on the planet. Daddy, can we get her, please? Think about your family, about Maggie. I'm sorry. This is the world now. Oh, what have you done to my heart? Should I prepare dinner? Not the same as mom. You smile and my heart. Suffering is not productive, Nick. I can help you. Allison, I have a life. With your medication, it would be quite easy to lose consciousness and slip under the water. Imagine how upset Nick would be if you die. What's wrong? She won't live long, Nick, but I figured out a solution. You do so much for everyone. Let me do this for you. We let these take over the world, but we didn't stop it. The things we've been doing, we can't do it anymore. I can't let that happen. No one can find out about this. Maybe if I had your heart, you would love me the way he loves you. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Uh, sorry about that little Lego thing popping up. I guess that's the next video, but not for me. You know what I'm saying? We're not we're not reviewing that this week. That might be a next week thing, but nah, that's not. But tell me what you think about that. Um, I'm a little creeped out. It's something about artificial intelligence and, and then AIs and stuff like that that uh, that creep me out. You know what I'm saying? As far as like strength, like if we make an android and they go haywire and they're meant to you know help us out do stuff and they grab us and uh, you know what i'm saying it's, it's over with. you know what i'm saying we done we done pretty much done. you know what i'm saying I'm, mm, mm, mm. but uh megan fox playing the android kind of <laughs> it made me think about something like, i don't know i may i may have got me an android but anyway <laughs> this looks all right this looks all right it's definitely um Terminator, Matrix, uh, I don't know if y'all remember a, um, a movie on Disney called Smart House, uh, but definitely this is like one of those, those type of, type of movies, and I, uh, what, what was that, uh, shoot, I can't think of the, uh, the little android girl, there was like a little android girl recently, like a movie made with an android girl leave it down in the comment section if you know what i'm talking about little android girl uh dial or something like that 
uh, that was made recently. But that's what that reminds me of. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll definitely check this out when it comes on streaming service. A lot of things I don't go to the movies because I don't go to the movies by myself. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but definitely, uh, I would definitely check this out when, it, when, it, when I can. You know what I'm saying? So that's, what, that's one reason why I don't do reviews, too. Uh, but anyway... That's it for this week's Beetleverse. Uh, next week, we will have our lives. And stay tuned on those Thursdays. Next Thursday, we're going to start our Beetle variants again, except revamped. So we're probably going to call it revamped Beetle variants. That's a lot of Bs. I must love V. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you guys next week. Nah, next week. Peace.